Hello and welcome to San Fran Fitness and day 16 of our 21 minutes for 21 days. Today we are back working the abs and as you can see I have got my stability ball. Now you don't have to use a stability ball, you can always go for some dumbbell weights or maybe a child's football if you've got something like that around at home. Whatever it is, just grab it, it is just there to add a little bit of resistance. Okay, clear some space, make sure you've got water to hand and let's get cracking on working those abdominals. Okay, so taking hold of your ball, the first move that we're going to do is a squat and we're going to lean side to side. So I'm going to slightly turn my feet out so I get that plie squat, raise my arms above my head and then it's leaning each side. Now if you don't want to perform the squat, that's fine. You can just do this standing. You're going to start to feel this burn in the legs. Keeping it nice and relaxed in the arms. Good, okay, coming up. We're working just the right leg. You are going to lift and lower to meet in the center. So this is great for your balance. All of these moves can be performed on the floor. So if you find the rebounder too challenging, begin on the mat. Keep practicing. Good, okay, shake it out, we change sides. Begin. So every time you lift that leg, squeeze through the abs. That supporting leg should be soft. And you don't have to physically meet. Wow, my legs are really getting a good workout as well. Okay, excellent. Coming down, we are going to go for a full roll up. You can go half if you wish. So taking it down, arms go above and then lifting. Now, if you like this style of workout, these are all the different things that we tend to incorporate on our website. We try and make the workouts as versatile as possible using different pieces of equipment 
just to challenge you a little bit more. How are we doing? Okay, good. All right, taking the ball in between the legs. I'm going to take my hands underneath to support the back. And then it's a lift and a lower. Now you can go just maybe halfway if you find that it pulls on your lower back too much. Always raise your head, take a little bit of pressure off the back, but obviously then it works the abs even more. flat down you're going to go either side of your legs so it's like you're reaching across Now if you find this pulls on your neck, just keep your head down. If you're tall, you're going to have to shuffle a little bit further down your rebounder. You can always put your feet on the floor if you've got lovely long legs. Okay, taking the ball back in between your feet, you're going to tap either side. So like reaching round to the side of the ball or round to your feet. Try and keep your legs straight. You're gonna find that this is quite a challenge for your thighs as well. Again, if it's too much, place your head down in between. Yes, slow it down. Abs are feeling it. Okay, take hold of your ball. Come straight back up. Round two. Get ready for that squat. are having a little shake if you've come this far with me and you've done all the days in succession how are you feeling
Okay, shake it out. Get ready for that right leg raise. leg will start to get heavy so do make sure you shake it out it harder on this side to lift that leg not quite so flexible okay good come down full roll up Okay, ball in between the legs, hands underneath the back for support. Okay, just relax the legs. We're going to go side to side.
Okay, shuffle down, regroup if you need to. Okay, tap in either side. that squat to your advantage. Right leg raise. Remember it's abs and balance. So every time I put my foot down, I'm not really putting any pressure onto the edge of the rebounder. It's just there as a way of like regrouping. Okay, left side. Begin. My legs are really challenged now. Oh, that was a killer. Okay, down we come for that full roll up.
nice and controlled. Bend down through the spine as you lower. Okay, good. Go down. Lift and lower. Remember, you can just go to that halfway point. Okay, take hold of the ball. Legs go down. Give your thighs a little bit of a rest. As you go to the side, I think I'm going to feel this tomorrow. Whew. Okay, last move. Take hold of the ball in the legs. Go in either side. Begin. Now if this gets too much, take a little bend if you find that your legs are really shaking. Remember you can go down with the head. You can still tap, like tapping around the ball and go in that bent leg position. So do adapt please where you need to. Wow, my legs are struggling to stay straight. How are we doing at home? Okay, well done. Come up. Whew, that was a little toughy. Okay, just march it through. Get some blood back in the legs. <laughs> okay, tomorrow we are back onto arms. This time I'm going to be incorporating a resistance band and we're still on the rebounder. So again, if you don't have a band, don't worry. You can just go with dumbbells. Okay, if this is your only workout, like I've said throughout the whole series, please make sure you do some stretches. If not, and you want something else, go ahead, choose a way, 
have a look at the playlist at the top of our channel and away you go for all the different categories. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See you tomorrow.